The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the February 16th, the wonderful Wednesday edition of today's Trader's Ed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right, when you and I make that one little two by four shift, well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is gonna toss at us. Now today, you and I, we're gonna go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I do want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this, during this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-664. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered there, too. You can always let those fingers do the walking. That means go ahead and send me an email. Send it to steve at tfnn.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, in our Tigers Den, well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started. A wonderful Wednesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. We got all the USNCs trading to the downside. Dow is off 271 points, about eight tenths of a percent. S and P seven tenths, 32 points. Nasdaq 100, one to three tenths, or 196 points. Russell seven tenths, 14 points, nearly two percent for the semis. Are down 67. Trend is off half percent, or 77 points. Gold is trading out at 1869, 40 up about 15 bucks. Silver 2357 is a print. That's 23 pennies to the upside. Lights we crude 9417. She's trading up two. And a quarter percent natural gas up 28 cents trading out at 458 and a 30 year treasury up four ticks she's trading at 150.28 leading the charge dollar wise the upside booking holdings 39 bucks one and a half percent upstart holdings 31 percent 33 buck move to the upside generac holdings 33 bucks 12 percent uh to the downside it's shopify 160 bucks 18 percent move massimo corp down 36 percent or 83 bucks mercado libre off six percent or 69 wicks down 32 28 percent out there roblox off 26% or 19 buckaroonies. So there's definitely some movers and shakers in the uh, markets. So let's uh, do this here because I totally botched up the one o'clock update. Started the one o'clock update, sort of forgot where I was. Was wondering in my head, I'm thinking here, wait a minute, I, I left out a whole part of the. Uh, of the uh, my opening for the normal Trader's Edge show. So I was trying to figure out in my mind how to get back there, and then I realized when I looked at the clock, actually I was just doing the 1 o'clock update. So really screwed that up. But the nice thing about the, or I think one of the nice things about that 1 o'clock update or the 2 o'clock update, depending on when we take a look at this nine-panel chart, is in, a, and in a quick synopsis, we can take a look at what the markets are doing generally, and then you and I can get under the covers and take a look at it. So here, if we look at the ES Mini in the upper left-hand side, you'll see a Purple horizontal line at 44.2750. That is the high from uh, November 24th, that uh, hammer candle out there. And as long as price remains above that, then that says the ES Mini should move higher. Higher to where? Well, I'd say the prior highs out there, which are in about the 45.70 level. Now, with the spot volatilics being above its 50-day expense moving average, moving up to that level is not going to be that easy. It's going to need the spot volatilics to really target its 50-day exponential moving average in the 2295 level. The NQ forming a new profile, attempting to form a new profile. It's a very narrow range profile, but you've got new support. You know where the buyers are at. Buyers are lined up at 14342, the low of the day so far, 14381. The sellers, they're really between where we're trading about right now. It's a slightly bearish structure, but really the sellers are lined up at 14860, some at 14653, but really the 14860 level. Now look, this profile doesn't get confirmed until six o'clock this evening, but right now we go with what we've had. What we have, I've tried to. Um, it's pretty solid because I've been uh, changing. I've been uh, refreshing the screen. 
um, about every hour, and it still is sticking. Nonetheless, it's not till 6 o'clock that we get that uh, profile confirmation. U.S. dollar index looks like it's really – it's got a TD9 count top, just consolidating with inside its daily profile, likely targeting the bottom of that at 95.60. Goldilocks is also attempting to form a new profile. Again, here we won't have that confirmation until this evening, but that new profile is forming below price. That is a bullish message for Goldilocks. Now, gold is taking on its swing point. Uh, from back in uh, November, I think it's November, let me just make sure here, it was, yeah, November 16th. And so that swing point ranges from 1869.20 at the bottom, 1884.40 at the top. Likely price is going to go test that 1884.40 level, maybe even take that out. In the case of silver, silver's got the resistance at the top of its daily profile, that's a 2482. Light sweet crude, which... Uh, it's got a confirmed roads momentum indicator signal. That was yesterday's candle session. The problem here is it's really a neutral signal. You've got a top, but price is above the top of that profile. That's where the sellers were supposed to reside. They did reside there. Now those sellers appear to be support, and that's at 91.12. So neutral to bullish is where I would call light speed crude. Natural gas has found its footing. It found its legs. It's now getting back inside its daily profile, which would have been a normal or natural area of resistance. That's at 455. With price above that, we're Take a look at the March contract right now. Price should go target the 484 level. And the 30 year Treasury, a couple days ago, generated a Roads Mintum indicator bottom. Yesterday was a TD nine count bottom out here. So the 30 year Treasury is doing everything it can to try to form a bottom. Price is trading at the bottom of its bullish structured weekly profile. That's the 150.26 level. If you see it close below that on Friday, well, then we know that those sellers were unable to hold that position along with those two bottoms, and likely the 30 year Treasury continues to head lower. So my apology for those looking for that update during the one o'clock where Stevie just had a total brain fart. It happens. And uh, it was a stinker, to uh, to be quite honest out there. But we've gotten that taken care of. So now let's go. So now what do we want to go take a look at out here? i tell you what we're going to do since we did that. Let's go to the first question that came in from Brent in Martinez, California. And Brent is looking at Walmart. Ticker symbol here is WMT. So Brent's question reads like this. Wonderful Wednesday, Steve. Back at you, my friend. I would appreciate your analysis on Walmart. I don't have a position, but I'm considering buying call options. Earnings out tomorrow. Looks to be multiple A to B equals CD patterns on the daily chart. You got that right. Also, you've got this as bar nine on the daily. Anything you can add would be appreciated. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Thank you to you, Brent, for writing in. So Brent's talking about multiple A to B equals CD patterns on the daily time frame. All you have to do is open up the chart and see them out here. The one that I believe he's – well, I can't, can't be completely sure which one he's taking, ta uh, talking about out here. But in the A to B equals CD folklore – out here what this needs and i'll just draw in the pattern i'll draw in one of the patterns the a point out here i'm using is the high from november 5th the b point is going to be the low from december 2nd it looks like that c point yeah the c point's got to be the high from january 14th so that one one if that's one you were talking about brent that's got further to go to complete that would take us to the 129.87 level out there so that would be the a to b equals cd so let's not focus so much on that and instead, let's go take a look at the white background charts and see, you mentioned a TD9 count. So let's go take a look at it, or at least my white background charts, and let's go see what count we've got here. So here we go. We've got that populated on the screen. Yes, today is going to become bar number nine. You've also got that nice roads momentum indicator signal. The problem is you're trying to make a play right now without having a confirmed bottom. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We come back, what we need to do for Brent is go look at those short-term time frame charts like the 10 and 30 minute, see if there's any kind of bottom signal there. We'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. We're taking a look at Walmart out with earnings after the bell tonight for Brent in Martinez, California. Before I go back to the white background charts out here, I just want to be able to share with Brent the following things. Number one, on a daily basis, uh, price is trading below. This looks like day number three below the bottom of its bullish structured daily profile. So we know that that's bearish. Yes, you've got the TD9 count pattern that we took a look at. On a weekly basis, or I'm sorry, yeah, on a weekly basis, there's a consolidation that is trying to be busted through. Now, it doesn't appear to have the volume, but it still could close below the bottom of this consolidation. If it does, that would generate a uh, measured move, a consolidation measured move. I would think what you would need to see from a weekly standpoint uh, is a close below 132.75. And Brent, where I'm going with that, the 132.75 level is the high of the swing point from March of 2021. Now, the volume there was 60, about 62 million shares. We're halfway through the month. We're at 21 million shares. So we've got lighter volume, but the month is not over. That obviously could pick up. But uh, so price, that's the only support level that I can see that 132.75 area. The monthly profile shows that price is trading below it. It's at least testing it. We don't know if it's going to close below it or not. But but right now you've got price below where the buyers are at on their daily, weekly and monthly charts. And that would be signaling to me that maybe what no matter what Walmart is going to, you know, the most fundamental thing about um, about a uh, analysis of a company, the most fundamental, that's one, make sure I key down, the most fundamental thing is what buyers and sellers are doing. And that's really what we take a look at when we take a look at the stock charts and the patterns, understanding where buyers and sellers reside out there. And that gives us what we believe is at least a competitive edge out there. So at this stage here, it looks like what's being signaled to you and I is that uh, Walmart, no matter what they come out with, um, 
looks like sellers want to continue to try to push this lower. But what could get in the way of that would be the TD9 count bottom. Today is going to be bar number nine. We know that on a TD9 count, it's got to be the low of bars eight, which was yesterday. That was not the low because it was bar seven. We're below that bar at this stage here. So with a TD9 count bottom could or should form between today and tomorrow. Now, because you've got a Rosemontum indicator signal out here, what you'd like to see is some type of bullish reversal candle. That being said, on a daily basis, we're below that bullish structure profile. A counter trend move would stall out at 137.26. That's where price would have to close above in order to say that it's in its bullish way. So if you are placing a option bet out here, 137.26 would really be the top range, at least at this stage, that I would be looking at. If we look at the weekly time frame chart out here for Walmart, we're only in bar number four. We're below that profile. We're not near a breakout level. We are trading into that uh, 2021 swing point that we took a look at. Uh, so nothing else there. The monthly chart suggests that uh, you could easily get Walmart to move down to the 111 area. Now, what I didn't do is on that consolidation measured move, that takes us into about the 116 area. So that's really lining up with what we look at as the breakdown or the breakout area on Walmart for a monthly time frame. Now, because we've got that TD9 count bottom on or potential TD9 count bottom in the daily, if we're going to see a bottom, we want to see what the intraday charts are showing us. Well, when I look to the 10 minute time frame chart out here, yes, I've got wave number seven. That's letter G. That's courtesy of Basil Chapman out there. Just an element, only one small element of the Chapman wave out here. So you've got that bottom signal, but price is still below even 10 minute profiles out there. So that's not looking good. The 30 minute chart, what the heck happened there? Let me. Uh, uh, reload all this historical data. Obviously, we've got some kind of bad tick. Let's see if I can get rid of it here. There we go on the 30 minute chart. So on the 30 minute chart, you actually do have a bottom signal that came in at 1230 when it generated or one o'clock when it gentle no, 1230 when you got that bull little bull sash candle. So roads meant to indicator signal, but still prices below that oscillator and change line, Brent. It is not looking good for Walmart when I take a look at the charts out here. So I've given you the best that I've got. Um, you know, if you're going to take that trade, you're, tra you're taking it based upon not the A to B equals CD pattern, but only the TD9 count. And I wish that you could see some type of more positive result on the intraday charts to give you a little bit of the edge out there. So thanks for writing in. I do hope that that helps and best of luck to you on that uh, trade should you pursue it. Our next question coming in from Tim. And uh, Tim M wants to know, good afternoon, Steve. Could you please take a look at Excellus? on the daily and weekly time frame, absolutely. So that ticker symbol, folks, is ACLS. And uh, it says also, you touched last week on your long haul COVID therapy, what meds restored your taste bud. Uh, I will send you a personal email on that one. Uh, so that's how we'll deal with that, Tim. Okay, so let's take a look at Excellus. Uh, right now, it is trading above the top of its daily profile and likely going to go target a little descending trend line. That trend line, Tim, you can uh, write in. That's from the high of the trading day of January 4th and then use the next high, which is the high of February 10th out there. So that looks like the price target to the upside. Price is also running into resistance. That's the top of its weekly profile. So you've got two levels of resistance this is dealing with. 72.21 is the top of the weekly profile. You're above the monthly. So what is this saying out here right now? Well, it says, you know, let's go look at Stevie's white charts and uh, try to add a little bit of color to it if we can. Here we've got the daily time frame. What do we see? We see price above a green oscillator and change line. Uh, above the top of its daily profile. So it should go target the high uh, from that February 10th. That's what we use as a descending trend line number. So 75 would be the number there, but you've got that trend line to put in. On a week, I don't have that in the white background charts. On a weekly time frame, nothing else for us to really uh, uh, share with you here. On a 30 minute time frame chart, 73.12 is a resistance level. If price can close above, that would be on a 30 minute basis, short term bullish. So, with regard to ACLS, um, you're looking for a long entry when there is one. So, a long entry on this. Hmm. <laughs> well, I think you got to let it do its thing, see if it continues to head higher. I would say right now the entry point would be around 61.42. That's the bottom of its bullish structured weekly profile, but that's not likely to be the case out here. So I think, Tim, uh, continue to watch this, and right back in, we'll take a look at this as price moves lower. Now, if you're just trying to play some type of 
momentum move, then your entry area would be about 67 love. And that's the green oscillator and change line on some type of pullback. It's really like the, if you see that, you'd like to see some type of bottoming pattern on a 30 minute basis. Right now, that bottoming pattern would take us in at about the 6555 level. But that's just a benchmark. That's not what I'm saying is going to unfold. So that, that's how I would do it. So I hope that helps you out. And I will write back to you with regard to the protocol that I'm using to deal with uh, both long haul COVID or, or any folks dealing with uh, uh, with any uh, uh, side effects from uh, any of the other vaccines or anything taken out there. So it's for everybody that is in the listening audience. Let's go to our next question. It's coming in from Joe. Joe says, can you please take a look at NVIDIA? Absolutely. For short-term long position ahead of their earnings after the close of the day. Hmm. Okay, let's go take a look at NVDA and see if this provides us with any kind of uh, signals. And so right now, NVIDIA, and you're looking for a short-term entry. Well, it's right now trading right up into resistance. That resistance is its descending trend line. So let me pull this back just a tad. We're looking at the daily time frame. So price is up at resistance, the top of its daily profile. The top of the daily profile level out here is uh, through 259.35, and uh, we're trading at 258.30. You can see how price held the rising trend line on the weekly basis, trying to get back inside its profile. But remember, so this has been below the bottom of its weekly profile, well, really just for one week. So I can't really say what I was going to say there. Tell you what we're going to do, Joe. Um, we're going to, uh, I'm going to get this loaded on my other charts. We'll look at some short-term patterns out here, and we'll see if we can come up with anything for you. Steve Rhodes with TFNN, 877-927-6648. Would love to hear from you. Send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market act in all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed 
designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Welcome back. We're looking at uh, NVIDIA. And uh, for Joe, and Joe's looking for kind of a, uh, a long play, it sounds like, in NVIDIA uh, ahead of their earnings. So, you know, the, the, again, the very first thing here, Joe, and, and to really take into consideration, this descending trend line, it's, it's, it's pretty solid out there. It prices trade right up into it. So the signal here is maybe what this wants to do is pull back. And so maybe what you're better off doing is seeing if this pulls back into support. And support would be the bottom uh, or would be that, that rising trend line on a daily basis and the center of its bullish structured profile in the 227.81 level out there. So that might be the better trade. If we look at the short term indicators, the only thing I can come up with is really a 10 minute time frame out here. And then a 10 minute time frame, you've got price that is pulled back at a Rhodes momentum indicator top. The price is pulled back to its support level of 255.33. Price found support at 256.42, the bottom of that uh, profile that was present at that time. It's still present out there so maybe that's your entry point but pretty risky knowing that the daily is up against that now not that it can't take out those descending trend lines it's just not the ideal trade uh joe but i provided you with the information that i've got and uh, best of luck to you in that uh, trade we've got a caller on the line it's john in uh, philly hey john thanks for calling thanks for holding how are you doing today steve Rowe, i'm doing very well thanks for taking the call and um I, my pleasure Steve, I'm calling to ask a very specific question on the crude oil futures market. But uh, before kicking off with that, thank you for uh, your help Monday on natural gas. Uh, specifically, I was doing some work and had taken a long position in the June contract, uh, a contract that's for delivery um, you know, into early summer. Wanted to focus upon uh, natural gas prices and its factors after we get past the uh, winter heating season, which, of course, is uh, winding down. So thanks on that. That trade is working. Nice rally there. Yes, and so your resistance uh, level, just, 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 just to go back to it, John, just for a second, just because just you brought it up, and I just want to make sure I give you that information. That's a June contract that John is trading. That's what's up on the screen here. Now, in this June contract, what we can see is that price was below its bullish structure daily profile. That began on the trading day of February 7th, and price has got its way back into that profile right now. So if this is only a counter trend move, John, then price will find resistance at $4.62. If this is not a counter trend move, price will get above that, and then your next battle would be 485 so i just wanted to give you that uh, most current data on that to assist you with your trade and uh, now let's go take a look at uh, light speed crude and go ahead and uh, continue on with with that yes uh thanks on that uh, update uh june net gas on the crude oil steve uh let me think it is wednesday it was monday late there was a buying surge in the 9580 in reaction to uh, rumors that came out about Ukraine, of course. <clears throat> a nice uh, pullback occurred and uh, got all the way back down to 90.65 is the low that I show yesterday, Tuesday. Yes. Um, we've rallied quite a bit from there. Who knows if we'll make higher highs or not on this move? I don't know. But your work might be instrumental in telling us was there any particular uh, strong support that showed up in your work, giving all your tools in that 91 to 9050 area? Uh, I, uh, I didn't see any down there. Perhaps yours, your work shows something that would be uh, valuable to us. 
Sure. So you know we're, what we're doing here is we're 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 flipping in uh, in between the March contract to the April contract out here. And when that happens, folks, what I really like is using the synthetic version of the contract here, the futures contract, which stitches together uh, the data in a different way than the continuous contracts and provides us with really good market profile levels. And that's what's going to help me answer John's specific question. So we're looking at the daily time frame chart out here. The top of the profile, which is typically resistance. That's at 91.12. When you close above resistance, especially if you do it for two consecutive bars, Lightsweet Crew closed above the top of the profile on Fe February 11th and then on February the 14th out there on Monday. So the pullback was nothing more than a test of old resistance that at this stage here, John, has clearly become support. Now that level is 91.12. That low that I've got out there using this version of the contract was 90.66. That might not be exactly what the print was on the March contract, but Yes, there is clear support out here. That was the old resistance level, and that's what the. Oh my, uh, date Steve! I, I have to, I have to stop you right there. Thank you on that, by the way. Yes, I knew you were the man to call to ask for uh, support <laughs> that that nobody saw except for your work. Uh, that is a excellent example of quote unquote old roof, new floor. Very yes. interesting. Thank you. Yeah, and, and as you know, we'd like to see that tested twice to just confirm that, you know, it is a good floor, but it's a floor. There's no, you know, price pulled back. It found support. And so now Lightsweed Crude, I'm going to switch from these charts here, John, and we'll go over and take a look at the April charts. And really, it's the weekly that's kind of interesting out here. So, you know, how much of the move in Lightsweed Crude that we've seen is due to the uh, unrest that's over in Ukraine, Russia, and so forth? Whoops, I, I put up the wrong chart. Sorry about that. Uh, so apparently I've got a bunch of brain farts going on out here. But here are the eight panel charts. And what, really what I wanted to point out to you is this week is going to become bar number nine of a TD9 count. Now, you can also see, and that's, I'll just expand the screen. That way everybody's looking at the exact same thing out here. We can see that the Rhodes Mintum Indicator signal is still being triggered. But the last time that we had a TD9 count on a weekly basis was right here. October, that was wasn't the, it? Yeah, it was October, the week of October 29th. What that there did was go. that pulled right back to support the breakout level of 6530 out there. So I, you know, the, the daily's bullish and everything. There's no doubt about that. The weekly just says prepare for a potential top. It's either this week or next week out there. Now, if that's going to unfold, what we'd like to see is some type of top on the daily time frame. Well, yesterday's candle session actually gave us that. The price is still above the daily profile and above its green oscillator and change line. So it's really kind of a neutral signal. The 30-minute chart has a TD9 count top. So price may pull back to support, which would be 91.43 or 90.96 out here. So I don't see any kind of a breakdown just yet to, con to, to worry us about the TD9 count on the weekly basis. But it is something to, uh, to pay attention to and to consider and to look for short-term levels of support to fail, none of which have occurred at this stage of the game. So does that help you? Is there any other information, John, that I could provide to you? No, that, that does it, Steve. I knew that it would. Uh, I'm now fully prepared. Thanks so much. Have a you good bet. rest of the trading session. You bet. Thanks so much for calling. That was John in uh, Philly. So we do have a couple of questions that came in through the Tiger's Den, and I, I don't want to uh, miss out on those. Um, and so let me uh, let me see if I can figure out where we're at on uh, that. So there was a question to take a look at. Yes, silver, then the Dr. Copper, and then GGB. Okay, so let's go take a look at silver out here. And for silver, what I'm going to do is well, I'm going to get off of this set of charts here. We're going to go back to the black background charts. We'll go to my four-panel screen out here. It's got the longer term, daily, weekly, monthly, and so forth. So to give us a fairly decent deal. So uh, deal, deal, feel. No, that's not the chart. What was this one? Well, that's, that's gold, silver, and the dollar. Not that that's a bad chart to look at. It's just not the chart that I was looking for. So in the case of silver, it's this set of charts out here. So when we look at silver, and I apologize, I don't remember who asked me inside the Tiger's Den. Really just a consolidation right now, trading with inside its daily profile. So your support area, really 2287, but certainly that rising trend line and resistance clearly at 2392. But if price can close above that, you've got a descending trend line up at about the 24 and a quarter area. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back in just a few moments.
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So with regard to silver, again, nothing more than just a consolidation with inside its daily profile. Then up to the top, it's got descending trend line resistance. And at the bottom, it's got rising trend line support out there. So that's what I see when we take a look at the silver chart. With regard to Dr. Copper, let's use the same four panel type charts out here. Now, the interesting pattern in copper is that if this can close above, not on a uh, monthly chart or quarterly chart, I should say, uh, from a January of 2011, the high out there is $5.19. What you see here is is a very long-term consolidation inside of Dr. Copper. And if price closes above that, $5.19, Boy, then you've got a measured move that takes us up into, let's see, two to five, that's three, up into the $8-ish uh, type area out there. So that's what I'd be watching uh, with regard to what is it doing right now. It's trading above the top of its daily profile. It, too, has a descending trend line on the daily time frame, slightly different than the weekly out here. Uh, so it looks like uh, copper should make rent for the 469-ish type area out there. Uh, and then the next request was to take a look at Taseco Mines. TGB is the uh, ticker symbol. So so let's get that on our three panel charts out here and see what it is communicating to us. And to Seiko Mines, uh, you know, got these descending trend lines out here. So price is traded right up into resistance today. Resistance was the top of its bearish structure daily profile. That level was 198. The high today has been $2 even, Stephen. Um, 
So what else is this telling us out here? Let's pull the white background chart, see if there's any more clear information. I don't think there is because of the sideways action out here. There isn't. So what we have right now, I would have to say, is a good old-fashioned consolidation with inside the daily profile. Resistance 198, support at 182. That's from the daily time frame. The weekly chart out here, what does this tell us? Nothing more than really just sideways action out here. The key level of support would be about 170. Right now, resistance is that oscillator and change line. It has been resistance ever since November, uh, November of uh, 2021. So fairly D. So that the level to be watching there, that oscillator and change line, right now is printed at 203. You really need to see close above 203 into Seiko Mines to suggest to move up to the 220 level out there. So nothing more than just a consolidation out there. I hope that helps out uh, those folks in the den that had put in requests. I hope that I've gotten through each of those requests. So if I have not, would you be kind enough just because my den screen is relatively small and uh, they can, it can get away from me. So if there is something inside the Tiger's Den uh, that uh, anyone wants me to look at, please go ahead and type that in and we'll get right to it. In the meantime, we've got some other questions that have come in by email. David in Tomball, Texas, wants to take a look at ExxonMobil. XOM is the uh, ticker symbol. So let's do that. Let's get that uh, going. Oh, by the way, I did want to say, hey, con before I do that, congrats to uh, Gary. Gary, our, our from New Buffalo, Michigan, our new skin guy. Uh, earnings came out this morning, and uh, prices uh, right now trading above a key level uh, breakout breakdown area, 54 bucks. Gary, what you really need to see this close above, I think we talked about this yesterday, is the high from uh, January 7th. And that's at the 5467 level. You get above that, then this thing is headed higher. But congrats to you on that uh, trade. You're having a good day. And so we here at TFNN are celebrating with you. But back to ExxonMobil here for David and Tom Ball, Texas. So you're trading above. Uh, the top of its daily profile. So that looks good. You're above the weekly. You're above the monthly. It still has a weekly A to B equals CD to the upside with an initial price projection here of 85.91. I'm not saying that's where price stops. In fact, I would say more, I'd be more inclined to say price is going to make a move to the 95.11 area. Now, what Stevie forgot to do there, that was a real smart move, was get Exxon Mobil going on my white background chart. But we'll do that here momentarily. And in the meantime, I'll tell you a, a little joke. Just kidding. I don't have the, I love listening to jokes. I love humor. I'm really not that great at uh, delivering them, although it's pretty easy for me to laugh at myself. That's no problem. But with regard to ExxonMobil, now that we're done here, we've got a TD9 count, Rhodes Mintum indicator top, price pulled back, uh, but you never close below the top of the daily profile. Old resistance that has now clearly become new support. So your support level is going to be 77.46. Your resistance area, though, is going to be that oscillator and change line at 81.02. Uh, please look at crude oil futures and ExxonMobil. So we've already done the crude oil, Exxon on mobile range boundaries and location of the OUL. So we've given you that for the daily time frame. Quickly here, look at the weekly chart. The weekly chart tells us what no topping pattern or anything along those lines. So it does look like Exxon Mobile wants to continue to move higher. But the caveat there is that uh, John and Philly and I were looking at Lightspeed Crude. We recognize the TD9 count pattern that's going to complete this week on the uh, weekly time frame for Lightspeed Crude. It says at least a short-term to intermediate-term top could form between this week and next week out there. But with, you know, events going on overseas right now, you know, maybe not. But maybe it knows more than what we know. Maybe it knows that uh, this thing is not going to uh, get unhinged overseas. But, Time will tell. But uh, that's the uh, update on ExxonMobil, David. I hope that that helps you out. Thanks for taking the time to write in. Michael P. writes in, and Michael says, if we are in a counter trend move, uh, should we have a small position? Should we have a small position with the trend? Um, so Michael's suggesting, okay, if we have a counter trend move. So how are we going to answer that question? We're going to answer that question by, well, first would be what index would we be taking a look at out here? Would somebody want to play a counter trend move to the upside? The first concern, Michael, that you've got to have, at least I have, is really with the NQ. Because this market likely is not going to motor on higher at any point in time unless it gets the NQ to join along. And right now, the NQ... It has struggled to take out the high from January 24th. And that always has Stevie saying, hmm, something to think about. Well, on top of that, I had mentioned the new profile that is attempting to form. Attempting to form because we're using my advanced Doppler tool. But right now, and it's a good tool. Whether or not this profile takes hold or not, I know it's solid right now as 148, but it could shift around. And right now, price is trading below that. That was a bullish structured profile. That 
bottom is at 14,445. So as we speak right now, Michael, the answer would be, ooh, it's risky. We have a different message in the ES Mini and in the Dow and inside the Russell 2000. But really, I think we've got to get the uh, NQ, the NASDAQ 100, has really got to you know, assist here on any type of counter trend move. And then we've got to say, where's that counter trend move possibly take us to? And inside the ES Mini, it'd be the prior highs out here in the 4585 is range. Inside the NQ right now, we'd have to say 14860. The Dow, which looks pretty good, that would be a decent size move, 36054, and the Russell up to 2152. But really, we've got to see the NQ give us some type of bottoming signals. Well, okay, Stevie, if it's got to give us some kind of bottoming signals, what are the NQ charts doing out there? So that's a good question. So let's try to go answer that. How do we answer that? We answer that by getting rid of uh, this chart and go to our eight panel charts. where We've got some intraday time frame. So in the upper right hand corner, you've got a 30 minute chart, a TD nine count, no bottoming signal out here. Price is held support at the bottom of its bullish structure profile. But again, no bottoming signal. So no signal there to take a long position right here right now the same for the 60 minute chart no no bottoming signal no bottoming pattern that stevie likes to look at nothing on the 120 nothing on the 240 the five hour chart is trying to hold support that is the oscillator and change line really the same thing for the 240 but i don't have a clear signal here michael on the uh nq's chart for its intraday time frame to suggest what you're doing it doesn't mean it hasn't bottomed already it's you know I don't have every single bottom pattern, but what we do is we spend time looking at these patterns that I do trade, that you do trade out here, and there's nothing present on those intraday time frame charts. Steve Roach with TFNN. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you.
The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Back up, folks. Let's uh, switch screens here. Let's go to back to the uh, main screen. And uh, right now, you've got again all the U.S. indices trading to the downside. Um, got the XAU trading up, so gold's up 15 bucks. The XAU's up 250. Let's go take a look at the GDX out here. Nobody's uh, putting a request for it, but uh, let's go do that. GDX is the ticker symbol, and I believe that. Uh, I don't know what's that new skin thing get on there. That's weird. Okay, let's try to get back here. My three time frames. So you've got the GDX right now uh, trying to take out a swing point that had volume from January 20th of 26 million shares. You're at 15 million shares. So I don't know if you're going to uh, it doesn't have to take out that swing point. No, but if it does take out that level of resistance, again, that level is 33.19. You're at 33.28. In odds favor, price moving up to its uh, resistance. Oh, I know what I should show. Let's go back. I think this is taking out a TD9 count or is attempting to. So let me pull that over. That's the more important level. Yep, sure enough. Okay, so here's what you folks want to be paying attention to if you're in the uh, gold mining market. There was a TD9 count that formed two days ago, and then we got yesterday's pullback. And so a close above the high from two days ago, 33.16, will negate that pattern. Of course, you'd like to see a close above that as well as that swing point from January 20th. The combination there would then suggest that, one, you could have an A to B equals CD to the upside. Forget about me put, putting that in the screen right now. What you really have is a price target of 34.97. That's a TD9 count breakdown level for the daily time frame. On a weekly chart out here, price is trading above the top of its uh, profile level, which is 33.05, only Wednesday. But that does suggest a further move higher. And on the monthly time frame chart, your real resistance level is 34.24. If price begins trading above 34.24, that would be a positive. That's a green oscillator and change line. You haven't seen price trade above that since uh, May of 2021. So that's the key resistance level for GDX 34.24. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, at least my favorite polar bear, is up next. That's David White. After that, Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home. I'll be back with you on Terrific Thursday. Thanks so much for joining us here today. Have a terrific day.